P.O. Box 999, Brainerd, Minnesota. And just like that, the fishing news views and info you can use show is back in your life. Last week, we set a record for the number of records on our show. This week, we don't have near as many, but here's one of them. Rob Duckater just caught a new Montana state record bound trout. Bound trout or brown trout? Whatever you want to call it. The new mayor of Browntown weighed 32 pounds, 4 ounces, shattering the old record of 29 pounds even. Speaking of records, smuggling illegal invasive fish will definitely get you one. This Asian arowana was confiscated after being found inside a tire well trying to cross the Kenda U.S. border. It's now featured in its very own exhibit at the Aquarium of Niagara in Buffalo, New York. The guy who tried to smuggle it is featured in a whole different exhibit at a different facility. Another week and another big sale in the fishing world. Kayak maker Hobie Cat was recently sold to a Detroit-based private equity group made up of executives from Maynard Industries. Oh boy, the European version of iCast has been cancelled again. FTEX, which was due to take place in Prague this coming June, has been cancelled for the second year in a row. However, it is important to note that iCast says they are still full steam ahead for an in-person show as planned in Orlando, July 20th to 23rd. Nice carry-all. It's European. This past week, an origami shop closed unexpectedly. More to come as this situation unfolds. <laughs> In tournament news, Ben Cully and Hayden Gaddens of Carson Newman University won the first Bassmaster College Series tournament of the season. It was held on Lake Hartwell and they had a two-day total of 35 pounds, 10 ounces. Keith Tuma of Brainerd, Minnesota won the 2021 Bassmaster Southern Open on the Harris Chain of Lakes. He did a three-day total of 58 pounds, 13 ounces. And Tuma, not only a fun name to say, but he's also the guy that weighed in 26 pounds, 2 ounces on the final day of the tournament, the biggest bag of the tournament, to seal the deal on the come-from-behind victory. So congrats and... Uh, is it just me, or am I the only one that can't say Brainerd, Minnesota without saying 999, Brainerd, Minnesota? P.O. Box 999, Brainerd, Minnesota. Some of you'll get it, and some of you won't. Some bass boat chatter on the number one podcast in the world, the Joe Rogan Experience. When UFC stud Dustin Poirier talked about competing with Conor McGregor's whiskey money and him arriving to their last fight on a yacht. He's got that whiskey money, man. He's all right. He does have that whiskey money. Yeah. No, that is a different thing. I got that whiskey money. Yeah, whiskey money is a different thing. I'm building it up, man. I got the hot sauce money coming in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pull up on like a bass boat next time. <laughs> <laughs> so a few weeks ago, we reported on the crazy vids being made by Justin Jenkins' Assorted Meats YouTube channel. Well, it turns out there was no need to dangle the old sanitary napkin because his daily existence is crazy enough. Check out the size of the ice auger on this guy records right we're on records let me go on record and say i follow a few simple rules in life one of them is if the ice auger is taller than your door we ain't going ice fishing no more it turns out in fond du lac wisconsin it's okay to spear a giant prehistoric fish for its eggs but you better be careful who you trade them with Authorities have been investigating reports of sturgeon eggs being illegal, bought, sold, or bartered around Lake Winnebago for years. Well, recently, four people were charged in the sturgeon caviar investigation, including, are you ready for this? The DNR Sturgeon General. <clears throat> and last but definitely not least, there's been lots of talk of traveling to the moon lately. And if you're anything like me, it leaves you asking one question. Will there be fish on the moon? Yes! Researchers in France are already testing which fish eggs are best suited to be launched to the moon for future fish farming. So far, you can bet your ass on sea bass, a species that can tolerate varying levels of salinity, which is a good thing with the moon's limited water and all. Kick his ass, sea bass! Me sucking on YouTube is an intergalactic problem. So no matter what planet you're on, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be back on Wednesday with LD and the MC. We have uploads every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And until next time, 
get back to work or whatever you've been avoiding the, the last few minutes. <laughs>